it looks like the end of the road for Kim and Pete. Are we okay? According to page six, the two broke up on Friday after nine months of dating. The main factor, age. Kim is 41, Pete's 28. Sources say Pete wanted Kim to fly to wherever he was at a moment's notice, but Kim has four kids and was totally exhausted by the relationship and all the other things going on in her life. Meantime, Kim's ex Kanye West wasted no time in trolling the breakup, announcing Pete's quote death or it's their relationship on Instagram. Kim, on the other hand, modeled Yeezy sunglasses on social media with her daughters, and Pete's mom posted a throwback pic of her son in honor of his <laughs> sister's graduation. Okay, so we just found out, Karen, am I right, that Connie has taken down that message. Because he's working on the road to redemption to it, get, get his lady back. He said, you. take it down, he's taking it I down. I agree with Whatever you. Whatever you want, Kim, as long as we can get back together. You think so? Yes, he I moved don't know. across the street from her, okay? He wants his girl back. That is so That's cool. He's been waiting for Pete to get out the way for quite some time. Someone, Ooh, uh, someone I don't said know. Kanye is going to be Donnie hanging around a whole lot more just like the time before that and before that. He's being the best dad of all time. Not that he wasn't before. I don't know what he was doing, but he's going to go above and beyond. Get the world's best dad mug. I don't I don't think they're going to get back <laughs> together. I don't because he'll always be there. There'll always be a Kim and Kanye story because he's the father of her kids, right? So I think that's always going to be there. I don't see her getting back with Kanye. Erica, I don't Cobb? know if there's a, I, I, I agree. I don't think that Kim and Kanye are going to get back together. So where'd she go from here? I also well, think that anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take, that's a good question. First of all, let's all like mourn his tattoos because he got the kids. Okay, initial. that was that's strange. Right, guys? guys? From the very beginning, I was like, them, those are not your kids. They're not your okay? kids. Like, sorry, I, th there was just no, plus it was just too soon, not to say that, you know, if they got married and he became officially their stepdad or something, like, maybe, but like, for you to be doing that, it felt, it didn't feel right in my spirit. It did not. It felt yeah, icky. I didn't like that. It felt really icky. Start with like blowing up a picture of y'all too, and then <laughs> put that in the house, start there, not start a tattoo. There. But he has a tattoo of like all of his past occasions, and so maybe that's just like his like memorial. He but can say kids? in memorial. <laughs> <laughs> the scroll to these relationships life. and people that were in my life in the past. Does anyone have a, an idea of who she'll go to next? Of who she Kanye. might Kanye. Okay. <laughs> Kanye. He's doubling down. <laughs> Let us I know like if it. you guys have any opinions. I think she'll go to someone outside the U.S. Let us know what you think. Another Kardashian news. Chloe. I love Chloe. Wow. She got she, she got the backseat. She got story. kicked out of the news cycle. <laughs> Chloe and her ex Tristan have reportedly welcomed a son, Mazel Tov via surrogate. According to People Magazine, Chloe is holding off naming their son. Chloe and Tristan are also not back together. In January, Tristan was caught in yet another cheating scandal after it was revealed he had fathered a son with a fitness model. I don't understand the not naming the baby thing, right? Like, when I was at the hospital, they're like, you have about five minutes to write a name down on this birth certificate. And well, we were, like, freaking out. They, I never, I didn't know you had an option to be like, how come I'll get back to you in a well, week Chloe or two. Well, so Colin and I anything. were so back and forth about the name, just one letter in the name, that the lady actually said, well, you can come back to the hospital when you're ready and let us really? know. Really? Yeah, because we were out. She had to leave, and we were leaving the hospital. Oh. And I was, like, adamant about one way, and he was adamant about the other way. Like, just let me have this. You have everything else. <laughs> You think it's going to be a girl, everything. And I'm like, no, I really want, it ended up giving him his way. My mom came in and lectured me. And that's <laughs> why his name strong. is spelled the way. Yeah, he stayed strong. The lady was like outside of our door, like, what's knock, the name? Knock. Yeah, my yeah, lady was like, shifts over, sign this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what do you think about Chloe? How do you think about all this? Um, I think it was done by design. I think the um, the Kim and Pete news was released uh, simultaneously or around the same time with the Chloe news to take some heat off of Chloe. I completely agree. Because obviously people were dragging her for having another child with Tristan, which I still don't see what the issue is. Yeah, I think. Um, so yeah, this was all done by design. It was all Chris Jenner. Yeah, it, yeah. it feels that way. Yeah, Chloe yeah. seems like the nicest one. I just want her to be She's happy. The best one. I just want her to be happy, She's man. The best Whatever. One. If this makes her happy, okay. I know. She just has bad picks. I want her to pick someone good. Come on, Chloe. You know, it'd be really good if she started dating Kanye. No. <gasps> no. What? That's, no, that's, that's gross. interesting. That's weird. Now, there is rumor she and Scott Disick have a very flirtatious relationship. He, again, was Kourtney Kardashian's ex. Okay, and there has to be like lines, though. Like, you were married to my sister or engaged? No. That's right. the line. You would think. Uh, you would think. Uh, <laughs> Listen. 
Oh. Spices things up, huh? No. Oh. <laughs> then your aunt is like your stepmom and like, oh. or whatever. I don't even know. Oh. It's too confusing. Mm. We can't keep up with you, Kardashians. Mm -mm. All right, this is a great story. Britney Spears is at war with her ex-husband, Kevin Federline. I mean that because there's a lot of meat here. Speaking to the Daily Mail, Kevin said their two sons are choosing not to see Britney. The boys who are 15 and 16 didn't want to go to Britney's wedding back in June. Kevin also shared he's had a hard time explaining Britney posing nearly nude on Instagram because it's tough on the kids since they're still in high school. Now, Britney fired back on Instagram right away, saying raising teenage boys is never easy. She said the issue with her sons has been going on long before Instagram. She called the comments hurtful and blamed her mother for insisting she give her sons to their dad during the conservatorship. Now, Britney's husband, Sam, also chimed in. He said there's no validity to Kevin's statements about their son and said the tough part for the kids was having a father who hasn't worked much in over 15 years as a role model. I think that was a cheap shot. It, I think he, it had a full, shot. he had full custody of those kids at one point, right? And now he has 70-30 custody. He's taking a shot at Kevin Federline. If you reverse this and took a shot at a mother for raising a kid because she got paid out by her husband, that'd be a big problem, right? And so now everyone's like, oh, good for Sam for taking a shot at Kevin Federline. He raised those kids when everything was going on with Britney, and I totally agree with him. I wouldn't want the mother of my children taking photos that Britney puts out there with her little smiley faces trying to claim like her womanhood back for any reason. Your kids are 15 and 16. They're going to high school. They're going to have repercussions from your actions. I'm on Kevin's side on this what one. What about Instagram influencers who are showing off much more polished, but their boobs, their butt, everything? It just doesn't have the glossiness that Britney doesn't have a staff to do it, but she's not showing anything more that you don't see in a lotion ad or a soap ad. Even Sam said that. What do you think? Well, I just think there has to be a better way that you can co-parent with 15 and 16 year old kids. You guys have to sort it out by now because at the end of the day, the reason why they don't like have the best relationship with their mom is because it was not mandatory to do so. As somebody that has a stepdaughter, it's mandatory that we all have a great relationship, period, whatever that looks like for us. And so I know that there's a way to make it work. And so I just think you can't just put it all on Brittany that that relationship is sour. It has to be both parties and everybody coming together to say, let's do the best thing for the kids. Because I can't imagine a 15 or 16 year old saying, I don't want to go to my mom's wedding when my mom is happy unless there's other issues and so I think that they really should have a real conversation about how to make this all work. I've also heard and Brittany said in her post her mom suggested during the abusive conservatorship she give the kids away to Kevin and she says she regrets that now. What do you think about all of that? Yeah, I think it's very complicated Yeah, um, but I understand that the visceral reaction that a lot of people are having in to defend Britney has to do with the timing of all of this. Explain you know, what you like mean. like just the fact that she is in a situation where people are very much trying to have this cloak of protection and for her ex-husband or you know, father of her children, father of her children to be coming out in this way. Um, and they brought up the issues about the idea that he's not going to be receiving child support for much longer. Um. The idea that she's saying these things in public and it feels very detrimental to the path that Brittany has been on. Also, there was a lot of speculation about his relationship with her father. Does he benefit more mm -hmm. by her being under the you know, the order or whatever of the father. So I think the fact that he came out, or this is what was said about her, mm. just makes him look like the bad guy. Sam actually spoke on that, and during this, he just said, Kevin's gravy train will end soon. This is a quote, which probably explains the timing of these hurtful statements. I do not know him personally, but his character was revealed by the approval of the cruel 13-year conservatorship and his loyalty to Jamie. So interesting that you brought that up. He also brings that the up. The dude's a personal trainer. He's not like um, solving world problems, okay? <laughs> you mean his job? Yeah. Like he's building hey, a Fortune 500 trainers. company. He tells someone to do a couple push-ups. Personal not trainers are really like, Get there could real. be a lucrative path, career path. He's talking really about hooking himself to that ship. Yeah, Sam. But does Kevin easy. have a job? No. I don't know. I he's tell. a DJ, allegedly, right? Oh. Oh, love to hear a stuff. DJ Featherline? <laughs> That's what they said. I don't know. I read blogs. I, don't know. I, I just think it it's funny it's that Sam's true. speaking out about that to, I, I don't know. I think well, he's kind of intruding. defending his wife. He has a right to defend it. He better defend his wife. Otherwise, why are you there, buddy? Say something. Do something. 
All right, maybe say, don't take that picture, it looks insane. Maybe say that. I think she's exploring her sexuality, and I'm here for it. But other people disagree with me. I know that. Come at me. Real Housewives of New Jersey star Teresa Judice is married again. This was a dress and a half. Look at this. Teresa and her husband, Louie, tied the knot in a lavish ceremony in New Jersey. Teresa's daughters from her ex, Joe, were there as well as Louie's sons. The wedding was also filmed, of course, for an upcoming Bravo special. Now, her brother, Joe, and sister-in-law, Melissa, Melissa, who we know, Eric and I know are fighty fighties with them, skipped the event. According to People, they had planned on attending but changed their minds after they learned Teresa was spreading false rumors about their marriage. Joe also posted a message on Instagram saying, quote, blood doesn't make you family. Mm. Bravo, Holic, I go to you, expert. Yeah, I don't like this. Mm -mm, me neither. It feels like they didn't show up so that they had a better storyline for next season. It seems very much like drama. You can't. Create it. You gotta show up. And on top of it, like, everybody has this. So basically, Teresa has always said that she, they, they snuck on the show. That she was on Real Housewives first, and then all of a sudden, they were surprised, she was surprised that her brother and sister-in-law were on the show. So, so much of them and their storyline has to do with revolving around Teresa. I would feel some type of way, too, if my brother just showed up in one of these seats. Like, <laughs> oh, Excuse you. I'd be like, why, why, why are you here? Why? Why wouldn't you tell me that you were auditioning for DBL? That's super weird. So yeah. I think a lot of their storyline has to do with their attachment to Teresa, and that's just messy for a reality show. It is. What do you think about not showing up for like a relative's wedding? Yeah, I don't know. How much is this for the cameras? Right? Like, is, is this corporate, real right? life? Like, I is, think it's real. You think so? Yeah, I think they really don't like each yeah, other. Because especially, like, Italians, and I don't mean to, like, se separate this, but it's like, you're like, listen, you got to bite your tongue. You got to respect this. You got to go to the wedding type of deal, right? I wonder how much is this put on for the cameras? Would they have gone if there was no cameras? I don't know. I just, it, it, how long has this show been going on? Like, <laughs> many moons. Ten years? Well, yeah. Many moons. But those two, Melissa and Joe, brother and sister, have really gotten into it where you can see the pain emotionally between the two. When their mo mother died, the father died, there is some tense pain between those two. But would you ever skip? I mean, I a feel wedding? like it gets weird, and we've seen examples time and time again Teresa when you combine family and fame, right? Because I don't know what the intentions are. Yeah. Hearing Erica break down that story, again, I don't really watch the show. So to know that she kind of like sidestepped her sister to get on the show, right. her sister-in-law and her brother sidestepped her to get on the show, it's kind of like they're getting obsessed with the fame. And so skipping the wedding, if that'll make you a bigger character in the show, whether it was for the cameras or not, right. it's like draw a line somewhere, it's my wedding. Mm -hmm. you know, no, I'm with you. I'm not going to forgive you. that. I just wonder how much of the fame, like you said, sneak into that sure. right, and affects things. And I know my rabbi always said, and many other people have said it, but my rabbi always said, 99% of life is just showing up. Just show up. Just be there. Love that quote.